Hello, Charles here with another Linux related video. Um, you can see from my previous videos that I'm not really using Xubuntu anymore. At least on this desktop, I'm using the regular version of Ubuntu. I've customized it a little bit um, so that I've got some different icons on the left hand side. We're going to talk a little today about ripping DVDs using the popular Handbrake program. Now, Handbrake is available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. So, if you're using a different operating system, the last bit of this video will apply. But I'm doing this video under Ubuntu because that's what I use uh, for the most part, and that's what I love. And a lot of this advice will also apply under Xubuntu, Kubuntu, or Lubuntu, depending on what you use. I'm going to uh, use the terminal to install software. You can just as easily use the Ubuntu Software Center to do this. Um, now your terminal doesn't always appear, well it doesn't appear here I don't think uh, out of uh, by default. So what you can do is just click here and start to type term and you'll see a terminal will appear and once it's opened up you can right click on it. It will appear on the side and you can right click on it and say lock to launcher. Now right now it says unlock from launcher because I've already got it locked to the launcher. And once it's locked to the launcher you can move it around here. Um, we'll leave it there for the moment. Now typically before I do anything before I install any software I will do an uh, update. Oh, update. Just uh, so that we update to the most recent list of packages. So this basically goes to Ubuntu.com and whatever other sources you have and says, hey, you know, what are the latest packages that are available in these particular um, particular areas? And it gives us that, it updates that list of the available packages. So you're not working with something that's a little bit older. So now what we want to install is we want to install libdvd CSS. And that basically allows us to decrypt commercial DVDs um, like this, this guy here. And uh, this is just a, uh, just kind of a, a DVD was, that was at the end of my list of DVDs. I've gone through and actually ripped most of the DVDs that I have right now. Um, and I think I've watched this once and so um, I'm going to rip it now. Before we can rip it we need to be able to decrypt it because if the decryption software isn't there the DVD actually wouldn't even play in the machine um, unless it wasn't using any kind of encryption and unless you're viewing your home videos that's pretty much any major motion picture uses some form of DVD decryption software. So we want to get a pa package called libdvd read4 so sudo apt-get install libdvd read4 and you can see at the bottom mine says libdvd read4 is already the newest version I've actually already installed it there are some other packages um, with the Ubuntu restricted extras, Xubuntu restricted extras, Kubuntu restricted extras. They also contain the libdvd read4 package. Now within this there's actually a shell script to go out and fetch the decryption software. So we're going to have to run that shell script and that is under user share doc libdvd read. And notice I'm not typing everything. I'm hitting tab after a few characters to do file name completion. And you can see here the last uh, package is called install-css.sh, not package, the last, uh, the program that's actually at the end, the shell script that I'm running. And you do have to type sudo super user do, and we can see that libdvd css2 is unpacked and installed. That's it for getting the decryption software. Now, you're going to want to install Handbrake. So sudo apt-get install Handbrake. If I can spell, spell Handbrake here. And of course I've already got it installed so it's already the newest version. One more thing you're going to want to know. Now this applies to um, Ubuntu itself here. You may want to go in 
and type details. And when you open up the details application, under removable media, you can set DVD video to open with handbrake. So, um, or you can set it never prompt or start programs on media insertion, which a lot of people like to do. And then you click the program uh, itself that you want to open up the media with. So you could change this if you wanted it to play straight from a video player rather than opening with handbrake. That's how you do it right there. Or you can just tell it ask what to do each time. So every time you put in a video it bothers you as to what you want to do. Now it doesn't always work that the DVDs automatically open up with handbrake. Uh, I have found that the odd time handbrake doesn't open and I have to actually manually open handbrake. So I'm just going to grab the movie and this is it here and we're going to stick her in and wait for the DVD drive to settle. In this case I'm act I've actually got a Blu-ray reader um, here and just have a look there it looks as I said it doesn't always open with handbrake um, I think I didn't unmount the last DVD properly by going right clicking and saying eject and so that's why sometimes um, it won't automatically open you should at the end always eject rather than just put it pushing the button so now we're going to open up Handbrake, and again, like the last one, um, you probably won't see it, so you'd have to type in Handbrake, and once it's open, you can lock it to the launcher like, like I, I did um, before. So again, you can see Unlock to Launcher. Now, um, you can kind of see it says Source here, and if you click Source, it takes you to this. Well, you can click Dev SR0, and then it'll start scanning or you can go up to the file menu here and you can see uh, you could click that way as well and at this point it's going to scan the DVD and uh, crash ha perfect I should have done the DVD I did before let's relaunch this Thank you.